Hey guys, today we are talking about the Pignos amp again. Uh, a while ago I made a video called uh, Five Reasons, or no, wait a minute, uh, Five Things You Should Know About the Pignos. That's what, what the video was called. And I think it came off a bit maybe negative. So today we're doing a much more positive video about the, the Pignos amp. Uh, this one is going to be called something like uh, Five Reasons to Buy a Pignos amp. The first reason why the Pignos is a good purchase is it's a great grab and go amp. It pretty much has everything you need to just head over to a friend's house and jam or something. Uh, you can even bring the power supply and cable inside of the amp, which is really cool. So you can really just, you know, have this in one hand and the guitar in the other and you're good to go. If you want pedals, of course, you can uh, you can bring along one or two pedals to fill out the sound. Maybe some reverb, delay or whatever. It's awesome. So it's a great grab and go amp. The second thing I really like about the Pignos, and it's a reason to buy it, is to use it in a, like a wet dry rig. You can use this as a dry component and you don't even really need to have like a splitter or something to split the signal because you can use one of the best features of the amp, the preamp out jack on the back here. You take a regular instrument cable, plug that into another amp and you get the pig nose sound out of a maybe a bigger amp, a different amp at least. But I've tried it with uh, some different amps. Um, it sounded awesome through my uh, Tone Master Deluxe Reverb, through my CT amps, uh, through a, through a, like a big 412, uh, whatever. It sounds awesome. The third reason is that it's a really cool tool, cool tool <laughs> to use in the stu studio. Man, I can't speak today. Cool tool to use in the studio. I don't know. Uh, it records really well. You can just throw whatever mic on it and it will sound cool. It will give you a really nice character uh, guitar sound pretty much. It will not maybe sound like the biggest Marshall stack or uh, a cranked uh, twin reverb or whatever. Probably not, but it, it has a really, really, really cool character. And since it is so small and battery powered, if you want, and uh, all that, you can you can place it in different uh, spaces. You can like throw it in the bathtub or whatever if if there's no water in it, of course, or in the kitchen, like in a kitchen cabinet or whatever, or in the oven. I don't know, <laughs> as long as it's not on, of course, the oven. Uh, you can. Yeah, throw it in the in the closet or whatever, and get different sounds. Just throw in different mics with it, and uh, you can even like throw a mic inside of the amp. Try things. <laughs> it's a great recording tool. So that's reason number three to buy Pignos. Reason number four continues on with the kind of experiment vibe of uh, of the last uh, reason there, and it's. You can really, really, really try to make some different uh, weird sounds with it. If you, um, I've thought about actually hanging it up in a string from like a mic stand or whatever, and having like a wireless guitar system plugged into it, and spinning it around for like a Leslie effect or something. That's something I've thought about doing. Uh, I just haven't been able to get my hands on a wireless so far. But you can do things like that, you know, hang it up in the ceiling. Uh, that will also create a different tone for recording, uh, like in the last uh, reason there. Uh, another thing, you can of course do the uh, the old acoustic wah-wah thing that, uh, that is mentioned uh, along with this amp most of the time. <laughs> that, that, that will give you minutes of fun. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I've thought about doing uh, is modding it a little bit more electronically. If you watched my videos before, you might know that I have done a slight mod that helps the clean uh, sound of the amp. 
basically you have all the gain from from an unmodded amp it just cleans up better from the guitar volume or on the uh, volume knob on the amp uh, you'll find that in, uh, in a video up there and in the description so another thing that I thought about doing is adding an external speaker jack um, I've seen people on YouTube ha has done that before and uh, it sounds really cool to use the internal amp um, out to a bigger speaker um, it will sound a bit bit more like the pig nose I guess than using the preamp out going into another amp uh, because that changes the signal more so it will sound more like the pig nose just through a bigger speaker so that would be really cool to do I think I'm gonna do that soon and probably make a video about how to do it the last thing uh, that you can uh, or that I have thought about experimenting with with this amp is to build in some sort of reverb circuit into it like a reverb pedal um, type thing that would be really cool <laughs> I'm not really sure how to do with that uh, like where to where to draw the power from uh, and things like that I'm not really sure so we'll see uh, it, it's a bit over my head <laughs> or above my pay grade or whatever uh, how to do that but we'll see uh, if I do it, I'll make a video about it, of course. The last, the fifth reason for it being a great purchase is that it, it's cheap. It's a cheap amp, but it's still built pretty, pretty well. Uh, I mentioned in my previous video that I dropped it uh, on the floor a couple of times and uh, maybe the speaker took a beating or something. That has kind of disappeared though. Um, it sounds sounds fine again. I don't know if it was just like a screw loose that was rattling or something. I have no idea. But it sounds great again. So <laughs> it's it's built well. It's built well. Even though I think it's I don't even know if it's made in China or Las Vegas, USA. Uh, but it also says built to last. No wait, there 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 we go. There it says made in China. So yeah. That doesn't really matter as long as it's built well. <laughs> Those are my five reasons to buy a Pignose amp. I really like the amp. I, um, I use it off and on uh, a bit here and there. Uh, it's, it's cool to just bring along if you're uncertain uh, whether you will have uh, the, the guitar going through the PA or uh, whatever. You can always bring this and just put it on the floor facing you and you will be able to hear yourself more even though the tone will be slightly different just what what you're hearing basically um, but yeah I guess that's it thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any other suggestions what to do with the Pignos amp or uh, if you have done any mods or whatever please leave them down below I will be really interested to, to hear more about about what other people have done with their amps so uh, I'll see you next time.